So in this video we wanted to go over how to lose some weight because I had a little bit of a beer belly before this so He had. Keyword is had. So I did give up my beer. So on today's video we're gonna figure out how to help you lose five pounds in two weeks because we did it without really any issue with just being strict and not even using a gym. Yeah, no exercise yeah. at all. So what's the first thing you gotta do, babe? Which is the hardest for me? Drinking beer, you have to, or liquor, you have to stop. Wait, you said we have to drink beer. This will be easy then, start drinking. <laughs> Two weeks, you have to cut liquor and beer off completely. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I did it, it's not that bad. You just gotta make it to like the first four days and you don't even want a beer or anything when you get home. That was my crypt night every night was coming home wanting a beer or two. And then on the weekends, having a lot more than a beer or two. So give yeah. these up for two weeks. Just two weeks, you and can do it. It's actually like pretty fun. It's pretty rewarding once you do cut it out for two weeks, you feel so good. And if two weeks isn't that bad, then try a month. We did it for almost two full months. Yeah, what helped me stop drinking was like, I drink water at work all day. I'm in a super hot work environment. So I get home, I want something other than just like bland old water. That's kind of the reason why I would always drink beer. So I went to sparkling waters. And how many of these do I drink like a night? Oh my God, like one to two. Yeah, and these are like, this is like Costco 35 pack, for like eight bucks, super easy. The grapefruit is really good. The second thing you have to cut is, it's a hard one, dairy and meat. So I know what you're thinking now. How am I going to do that? Don't worry. We're going to show you some products that will help you without really knowing how to cook vegan. Maybe get your feet wet, learn what you're doing, see if you kind of like it or not. But just stick with it for two weeks and you'll notice some kind of results. Because for us, it was literally like flipping a light switch not exercising at all like i had mentioned just eating different i couldn't believe how much of a body changed like she's almost got a six pack and that's just because we cut out alcohol dairy and meat for me my family's very big on eating meat well i'm sure a lot of your guys are barbecues for sure big thing like smoking meat that's definitely what my family's about big so steaks. at first I was not super happy with like cutting meat completely out, but we did it for two months solid without eating any piece of meat or drinking any alcohol. And in that time, we probably lost how much? Well, in total so far, we've lost close to 30 pounds. Yeah. And like I said, without working out, literally just changing your diet. It started just being like, okay, let's try it for a month. Like a month was our mm -hmm. goal and then the end of January came around and we were like We're like addicted to it. Yeah, like we could see such crazy results that we cut liquor completely until the end of February But we kept going vegan until well now every meal I cook I have we have not bought like grocery store chicken beef pork any meat since 2019 that's true Dang. That's crazy. So vegan is pretty much uh, cutting all dairy and meat products. Uh, once you get used to like the cooking style, like without meat, it's really not that bad. If you guys are interested, make sure you check out my vegan account called vegan.socal. I'll put it right there and I'll put a link in the bio. Um, I post all my recipes and it's pretty simple. I find cooking vegan, I'm done in like 15 minutes and it's a full home cooked meal, which is so yeah. good. And well, for this, we'll pop in other pictures of stuff she cooked, but we'll show you some things that are all like already made stuff, but they're super easy things for when we're like having a busy night or coming home late and we just need a fast dinner. One meat replacement that we are obsessed with, I honestly don't think I would have ever, ever tried any meatless products until we started being vegan. It's not mm. something that intrigued me at all. I just like couldn't have cared less, but I'm obsessed. Like I will never buy chicken fingers again. I will buy these. Mm. They're really good. Ask, like they're delicious. We, we eat them just like dipping in ranch like you normally would or we even put on like salads and stuff. This is 
a must have in our freezer all the time. They have a few different kinds. The buffalo wings, it's not that spicy, but it's honestly our favorite. It tastes just like chicken fingers and you would never know the difference. I think we could trick anyone with these, honestly. So one thing we do is like, usually about once a week while burger night. And I love burgers. It's like the one thing that I do miss every once in a while. So when I do cheat, it's usually like on in and out because it's so good. But to get away from that, I definitely get my Beyond Burgers. Pretty cheap at Costco. And it's nice to be able to like still be able to grill things and they taste really good. I, I enjoy them a lot. The texture is like really similar to ground beef, like yeah. to a burger patty. So another thing, I like with Beyond is the Italian sausage. It's so yeah. good. We cook like, we'll have like vegan homemade pizza nights. That's so good to like chop up and just throw it on a pizza. That probably tastes closer to its actual thing and than more the than the burger. Like the burger doesn't taste exactly like a burger does, but it's close. But like the Italian um, sausage. Sausage, so good. Which leads me to the next thing, which would be meatless meatballs from Cheddar Joe's. These are also super good on pizza. I feel like anything that's like semi-Italian seasoning or something, it almost tastes exactly like the real thing. So we, what do we do with these? I make meatball subs. So I put like a garlic spread and uh, tomato sauce and the meatballs and they're honestly so good. Also, I feel like I could trick everyone into thinking it's real mini meatballs. Mm -hmm. Go get some at Trader Joe's, they're delicious. Another one of our vegan Trader Joe's special is the orange chicken. We always buy like three of them. We always have them in our freezer. It's so easy. They just look like little nuggets and they have a sauce packet in them and you just pour that over rice and we like eat broccoli with it. Honestly, such an easy meal and... When you're craving Panda Express, this will fill your craving. So another thing we're super obsessed with is the Green Giant brand. They've been coming out with like a lot of good stuff. And one of the things they've come out with, drum roll, is Cauliflower Neoki. It is so good. It's honestly it's, like our obsession. It's better than regular gnocchi. I can't even explain to you what's so fantastic about it, but this, I could eat this like every other day for the yeah. rest of my life. If if someone was like, pick one thing to eat the rest of your life, I'd probably honestly pick this. This with pesto. Trader Joe's has a really good pesto. It's a uh, vegan, it's a kale pesto, just any type of pesto. Actually, we're growing our own basil so we can make but our own pesto. I thought we were going to a pesto plant. Huh? Oh, you gotta go to basil before you can make the pesto. Yeah. You thought you just Sorry, this is the latest video we've ever done. My bedtime was T minus 10 minutes ago. We also eat a lot of pasta, pesto pasta, our favorite pasta right now. We are so hooked. How many bags did we buy last time we went to Costco? Seven or eight. I've never been so excited spending like $60 on pasta. Yeah. Ever. It's go go quinoa. It's made with quinoa. It's gluten free. It's vegan. It's plant based. It's mm -hmm. so good. It's very good. Yeah, that we cut up some tomatoes, put some spinach, mushroom, and pesto. It is to die for. With eating pasta, it's easy to just like eat a lot of pasta, and it's not like the best thing, super carby. So that's why we've gone like a lot of quinoa stuff. Trader Joe's has one too. It's not as good as that one, but it's definitely pretty good. And it's better than just the regular old pasta that's like full of carbs and just like not gonna help you lose weight. So definitely maintaining that a whole lot of pasta will help you lose weight. Yeah, that's like one thing going vegan. We have been eating a lot of pasta, but we've been very careful to choose what kind of noodles we're buying. So I think the Barilla, they have like veggie noodles made with tomatoes and zucchini. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of quinoa noodles. We've tried the chickpea noodles. However, what do they do? Make me two. <laughs> they like. They're full of protein, which is good, but like, I don't know why. They just make you two. Don't just buy regular noodles. There's so many cool different kinds that are like lentil noodles and they're so much healthier. People think going vegan, all we do is eat like rabbit food and like lettuce. 
We honestly don't at all. We eat a lot of pasta, we eat tacos, taquitos, enchiladas. Yeah, we just had enchiladas and night for dinner. That was really good. And with a homemade vegan mm. cheese sauce over it, it was delicious. So don't be scared of the vegan diet. I know it sounds pretty like intimidating. Uh, go on Instagram, go on Pinterest and just find some recipes that look del delicious and just give it a try. Just two weeks. Honestly, you will see results. We in total have probably lost 20 something pounds. Yeah, almost 30 pounds since January. So if this hot body isn't convincing enough for you, go watch Game Changers just to get a little understanding, just to see the health benefits, because not only has it changed our health for the better, I also like feel a lot better mentally. I feel like I'm able to do more things, do things better at work now. I'm just able to think clearly. My body just works better. I don't know if that'll be the same for everybody, but for us, made a big difference. It's on Netflix, if you're not convinced after our video, make sure you go watch it. So, cut off your Taco Bell, <laughs> your Burger King, and, and start switch eating plant-based. Get your Beyond Meat. If you were at all interested in our vegan diet and how to lose five pounds in two weeks, make sure you check out my Instagram page, vegan.socal. All right. Well, I hope we kept you entertained for the last few hours. Just kidding, but I hope we kept you entertained. I hope you liked it. This is a different video for us, but letting you guys in a little bit more on our lifestyle. So if you like it, give us a couple thumbs up. And subscribe.